be around of here, not so much here in the ground, okay? Uh -huh. That, no, uh -huh. I so, I wait until the camera is on the crane, right? Yeah, they will say. They, they will give me the cue? Yes. What they will say? Uh, you, will, you will do your act and they will follow you. I trust my feelings. I don't need to come together with this person. I see when I look at their eyes, which is coming from them to me because I am so much uh, honest and open person. Even they are liar or they are, uh, have some kind of mask, I, I see it and I trust what I see, but I also see at the same time the beauty of these people and exactly what they really want to do. I just uh, try to be more honest to myself in first, then to the people in my life. It is uh, not easy to understand uh, who is really with you or who is not really with you. But if you trust your uh, vision or your feelings, also your experience give you more um, option to understand people and uh, when, when you are more honest and when you believe yourself more, they, uh, they, uh, like they don't look for another question to be with you. They already in uh, what you want to create. Uh, once I was uh, having a Skype conversation with a Polish artist, Jan, I don't know how I can pronounce his uh, second name, <laughs> but he asked me uh, some simple question on our Skype conversation. And his last question was that, uh, tell me exactly what is this the peacock in one sentences or one word? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even I didn't think because uh, I don't need to think, it's coming from me. And I say to him, it's me. And he just keeps silence, look at me, and like I saw the smile on his eyes, and he said to me, if it is you, I am in Gökçe. And I was really happy and excited about it. This uh, kind of story is also the same for my and other actors. For example, Dimitris Varkas, and he's uh, also a special one. He's really professional and working his uh, job very, very like, um, very carefully and with his heart. He, uh, he's put so much, so much things from himself and it's make him more real, more, Honest, even he is working or trying to make another character in the story, and uh, I am so much happy that I collaborate with him uh, for Peacock. Also, I want to talk about Borka <laughs> because uh, Borka is very specific character. Like um, um, I, when I see him. I see some part of myself, and uh, he he grew up very different uh, culture, but his art is also coming from his soul, and uh, why not? Like I am doing the same, and they are doing the same. So come together and share together, and make a wonderful world, a uh, wonderful work. Okay. I want to talk about another artist that I have for Peacock, but I know like uh, it will be a very long conversation. I am happy for each person who I have for Peacock. You, you are like you are traveling, you are meeting with so many people, but also you need to be ready for another uh, risk.
So in last moment, I lost so many actors or I lost so much collaboration that I made before uh, Peacock shot. And uh, for example, my cinematographer, Mikolai Kapinski, uh, I made a collaboration with him one month ago. And uh, we just met on Skype conversation. Then we made a deal. And uh, I saw he also uh, focus um, art more than the other stuff uh, in, 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 in the cinema works. And when we come together, it was really wonderful for me to, uh, to work with him because the connection between me and him uh, was wonderful. It, uh, it's, um, it's helped us too much. Mm -hmm. Even we had so much problem in the shooting process and uh, at least 50 people on the set and even I don't have any assistant uh, for myself. But we manage somehow. We manage to solve the problems uh, fastly and we manage, to, we manage to give more power to the actors uh, even the weather is very cold. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was really, really good collaboration, and I am sure we will work more and more for another project. So just as close as possible. Uh, yeah, but uh, the mistress need to move. You cannot stay. Nah, he. Don't worry. It's timing. It's timing issues. Okay. Okay. It's work. It's, yeah. I see. It's work now. Yeah, it's something okay. like that. Give and the timing then. Just a second. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Ah, uh, he won't. Uh, he won't do it because uh, he doesn't want to have his uh, uh, hair. Okay, but this is. Uh, tell me, this yeah. is the. This uh, is this is most this wide angle. Yeah. Uh, so we need to. Yeah, put we the need to crowd the people. So uh, let's go over there. I'm not waiting for you to go up. No, 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 no. no. You okay. just you go ahead. You do so your. Uh, when you guys are here, I go down. Yeah, that Great. would be the best. Okay, okay. perfect. Mm -hmm. At this time, the victim ritual was very. Good. Everything was very good, yeah. except for the booms. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, no, everything, everything was very good. So you know, there's no no reason if we manage, and we should manage to take the next take the same way we did, ex uh, without the without the microphones mm -hmm. and having the camera transfer to the train. Then but also, there is no reason that uh, maybe we can take it out the boom because they uh, they have already microphone with them. It is well, extra solution. Yeah. Well, they had. It's the transferring. That's the, the thing. They need to transfer the camera, mm. right, over to the crane. That's that's the main issue we have at the moment. So if I, uh, so let's try. They try, right? Yeah, they're okay. trying. They're trying. They're trying. They kn they know what kind of image I want, right? Uh, so could you tell us uh, more about your uh, inspiration for the Peacock film or how? Uh, this uh, project uh, started in your head. How mm -hmm. was it? Um, it was a poem in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, I wrote it, and uh, now my technique. What am I doing with uh, cinematography? Is also changing, because uh, in the beginning you study very classic, like how you can make movie and. Uh, you you know the theory and theories and and then you when you look at yourself and when you look at uh, what you really want to show in your story and it is changing then i realize um uh, i can i can make a movie from my poem because it is so strong story and it is so much cinematographic so I can uh, work on it in cinematographic way, mm -hmm. and I can make a movie. Um, it's happened like that, because uh, in my personal life, I always write. I always read and discover, also share so many things with the people, if the people is re in real mm -hmm. in my life. And a peacock uh, start like that and in the beginning there was no title mm -hmm. of the movie there was just a text that i wrote a uh, kind of poetic way mm -hmm. and the 
name of Peacock come up after I was working on it with my experience in Europe. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really a risky project. And why you wanted to risk so much to do Peacock? What message mm -hmm. uh, you wanted to share with your audience with Peacock Film? Yeah, this is true. It was too much risk to work on Peacock because in the beginning I didn't have uh, enough money. I was just a traveler with my bag, with my stuff, just go forward to meet with people, mostly artists and make collaboration. Then uh, if you know each other more and trust uh, to each other, you can invite these artists to take part of your project. This was uh, my plan that I was thinking uh, on my journey. Um, but if you cannot take risk, you cannot take another step for, for your future. And I never feel fair that uh, I cannot do it or, oh my God, I don't have money. So how can I uh, make it possible without money? And I was talking with so many people, more than maybe uh, 200 people. And uh, they were always telling me the opposite side. What am I thinking to make the things possible? Mm -hmm. I know which is important in this world, but also I know which is more important for me in my world. And I was always thinking, um, how can I reach uh, what I really exactly wanna like uh, have in my life? And I say, okay, if you really need to take a risk, you need to take this risk. Then go forward. Um, you can see the result. It could be positive, it could be negative. But uh, in the end, you will never feel uh, upset or mm -hmm. bad because you did. At least you try. Like, say, try, uh, fail again, try again. Uh, fail again, try and uh, fail better again if you even uh, fallen down. And I was thinking like that, if I need to fall down uh, on this risk, I will. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you want to say to your audience with the Peacock film? Um, connection, okay. connection between human being and universe, connection between me and you, connection between me and everything what we feel and see in the life, not just uh, focusing on money or focusing on uh, statue. Uh, something's, something's not exactly valuable. Mm -hmm. uh, let's focus on human being. Let's focus on nature, which is uh, coming from our soul. So it is possible, even we lost so much things to connect each other uh, when we look at past time or when we look at real and old people. I just want to invite the people, let's come together, let's share together, and love together, create together. Okay, and you managed to involve wonderful artists in your project. How, uh, how did you manage that? Yeah, it was also very excited for me to come together with all these powerful, uh, peaceful artists for Peacock. Um, I was just, as I told you, I was just on the way, walking, discovering, and nationality, culture, uh, different art disciplines, and uh, different vision of people. And I have some things to share. Mm -hmm. So they have some things to share with me. 
Okay. Then I say, uh, let's come together because I see on your eyes, I see you have the same things that you really want to uh, be with with another person or in any any artistic project. So I have this energy, you have this energy, and why we don't come together? And how does it feel to uh, watch your dreams coming true? Actually, with a lot of problems, you don't feel so much um, so much things as you dream. But in the end, I realized uh, it was dream, and it came true, uh, and it was better than dreaming about it when I look at from outside. Okay, and it all, uh, it seems like uh, the spiritual matters is really important in your art. Mm -hmm. Could you tell something about it? Is it true? Yes, for sure. And when I was working on my art laboratory in Turkey, I was uh, searching some different techniques um, with my camera. I never uh, separate or I never like uh, focus on one things when I was creating. I like to make movie and also I like to uh, make um, more realistic using performance art or using theater or physical action. But when, when you use camera to uh, build a story, uh, it could be so much fiction and I don't want to say some things uh, building so much fiction. I want to focus on in real movement and say some things with uh, real action, real feelings. I don't want to see uh, someone as a uh, another character. I want to see someone uh, exactly who is in his real life mm -hmm. and search the feelings according to story what you can tell using your part, uh, your personality, and uh, how much you can give and how much you can exchange your uh, vision or your aura to create and be part of a story. Then I figure out uh, rituals, works. And these rituals uh, like make me more excited and make me more being at the moment with my camera and uh, with my actors, also as a director, also as a um, kind of audience. Like I was searching uh, like uh, as a director where I should be or as an audience where I should be. And in ritual, this kind of rituals gives you, uh, also gives to actors um, to be uh, at the same time to be an actor also an audience or something else if you really want to put in your story so it is hard to build some things to be different uh, different uh, person in the, in the moment but when we look at our life we have this different vision, different part of uh, our life. Like we are not exactly uh, a person. It's uh, many ways and it separate you. When you're going to home, you are a different person. When you're walking in the street, you are different. When you are with your love, you are different. So which one of you exactly you? if you really want to show a story with uh, real characters. So which character could be more real in the story? I was discussing and searching, then I figured out somehow retails works, and now it is connected with my cinema. Okay, so actually um, we could say that uh, the Peacock film was actually some kind of ritual, in fact. Yes, 
when you look at all story is ritual because uh, life is kind of ritual 